Visita Iglesia are visiting at the seven different churches on Holy Thursday and Good Friday is one of the most popular Holy Week panatas or sacred vows that Filipino Catholics make. The tradition apparently derives back from 16th century Roman tradition led by Saint Philip Neri. Some devotees walk barefoot from church to church. In a few cases, they even carry a cross as a way to share of sufferings of Christ and the way to His crucifixion. Here in Cagayan de Oro, we also have this religious trek that attracted many devotees in the past years. The location is starts at Fasco Village crossing along the highway. The shrine complex at the end at nearly 4.5 kilometers long. Our Lady of Guadalupe Shrine is a religious reflection trek to Roman Catholics. This growing The river crossing, deep waters, river of rocks, and rough forest trail are part of the sacrifices that you need to experience in going to the shrine. stretch and river crossing, the retired devotees and pilgrims will be surely be amazed by the majestic view of nature and also the beautiful sanctuary of Our Lady of Guadalupe. Our Lady of Guadalupe Chapel is in the middle of 107,980 square meters timberland area wherein for the last 30 years, the caretaker Mr. Carlito T. Estoque is taking care of the area. In May 7, 1987, Brad Boy Stalker had visited the place with some other devotees. And together with the visit, they requested Reverend Father Edward Stock, a Colombian priest assigned at Agusan Parish Church, who gave the permission to build a small chapel or hermitage on the site. It is a very, what we call a nipa hut, uh, a Filipino, what we call, when we started the chapel, it is a very small chapel itself, then it is a nipa hut, then it is a kogon, uh, then uh, that will really start. Then the With the approval of the priest, and with the kind help of the farm workers around, and some kind benefactors, the small chapel was built. Then the first mass healed on that chapel is on December 12, 1987. Uh, it was uh, uh, it was officiated by Father Reverend Father Stack, a Columban priest. This image of Our Lady of Guadalupe is said to be brought by a group of devotees way back in 1987. And this statue of Our Lady of Guadalupe is said that it was donated by an unknown devotee. Despite the long walks, it is said that many devotees keep coming back here because aside from the adventure that you will experience, it is believed that Our Lady of Guadalupe grants many prayers. It is believed that whatever you ask and request from God and Almighty Father, 
through the intercessions of Our Lady of Guadalupe, it will always be granted. Passing board exams, answered prayers for favors requested, good health are granted by Our Lady if the devotees will request with pure hearts and best intentions in life. Not about fun, but also getting closer to God.